Hi, I'm Rachel, and this is my January 2022 book haul. I got some old items in here, which I've actually had since December, some newer items, and even some future items of a sort. So I figured I'd start in the present future uh, category uh, and hold up uh, this uh, bind up of the Baltimore Review. Uh, this is my attempt at uh, trying to get back into uh, purchasing, reading, and reviewing on this channel uh, literary journals, specifically the short stories, since that's uh, what I uh, write as well. Uh, and I have um, some reviews of some other uh, literary journals in my short story spotlight playlist, which I'll link down below. Uh, I'm actually waiting for a couple of other uh, literary magazines as well, so those are the future items. But for now, the one I have on hand is uh, the Baltimore Review. Uh, so I'll link also to the Baltimore Review website down below because actually um, all of the, the stories and poetry and everything else in here is available online, but every year they do a bind up of their uh, four quarterly editions. Uh, so. I was excited uh, to get my hands on this, uh, and I hope to be back in February to read and review some short stories. Speaking of short stories and small presses, uh, this is a collection called The Lightness of Water and Other Stories by Rhonda Browning White, uh, and it comes from a very small press called Press 53, which I will link down below. I occasionally do try to uh, look out for the little guy. Uh, and anyway, I believe this is a collection that uh, centers on uh, Appalachia in the U.S. as a setting uh, for these stories. It's a small little collection. I enjoy the cover with uh, the water. Uh, and I will be reporting back uh, sometime in the future after I read this. This is a book I got for research, but also to read. Uh, this is called Daily Life in Biblical Times by Oded Borowski. Uh, which centers uh, on uh, ancient Israel, and uh, I wanted to use it as a springboard because um, ancient Israel is an uh, inspiration for me uh, for my fantasy project <laughs> that I'm writing, and uh, I'm trying to get in the mindset of the world building here, but also I am fascinated by the topic, so... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to officially review this book or not. Uh, I probably will. That's what I usually do with uh, books that I read, and certainly this is something that you read all the way through. It's a very small book. I'm just really hoping it jumpstarts my own confidence in uh, building up my own world, and again, also, I could learn things about the real world as well. But let's leave the real world for a little bit, and maybe even adulthood, uh, because my mother, for the holidays, got me this uh, book, uh, Harry Potter, The Marauder's Map, A Guide to Hogwarts, including a uh, plastic wand on the side. And I just gotta say, I gotta love this. You know, she was joking about it, like when she bought it, saying, you know, I'm not buying this for my granddaughter, I'm buying it for my daughter. But one of the really fun things about being a geek is that you don't have to let go of all the fun stuff. <laughs> Isn't that true? And I'm a big fan of Harry Potter, so let's let the magic continue. And finally, I'm thinking I probably should have ended on the last book rather than this one. It's a bit of a downer, but uh, this is a collection of essays I'm really interested in reading uh, probably soon within the next couple of months called People Love Dead Jews, Reports from a Haunted Present by Dora Horn. Dora Horn is a uh, scholar uh, more well known for uh, writing uh, historically lush fiction in the past, and uh, this is her getting into nonfiction where she assesses um, sort of uh, how uh, Jews and anti-Semitism are perceived in the larger world, something that uh, has grown uh, more fraught, I think, as uh, anti-Semitism has been on the rise uh, lately. Uh, I think a lot of these essays deal with the idea of erasure of uh, Jews and uh, the ways that uh, people try to like turn the Holocaust and similar things into a universal appeal rather than dealing with the anti-Semitism on its face and uh, other topics as well. Uh, I talked briefly about this book in my last video, which uh, was a uh, 
overview of uh, the National Jewish Book Awards for 2021 and some of the books that caught my fancy there, and this was one of them. Uh, so I will also link to that video down below. So yeah, leaning into my serious side here, which makes me feel more justified in also having something like this. So that about covers it for me now. You can find links to this uh, crazy hodgepodge of books down below. <laughs> I don't uh, usually uh, have such a varied uh, variety of books, I think, uh, but uh, this was kind of nice. You get uh, some fiction, some nonfiction, some... Uh, kitty fandom-y type of stuff, uh, some essays, uh, and some small press stuff that you don't uh, get to see uh, most other places on booktube, so you're welcome. <laughs> and I will be back on this channel very soon to talk about my latest in Friday reads, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, thanks so much for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.